Hey y'all, welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you are blessed and well today. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There will definitely be something here in this video or in any of my other videos that the divine wants you to see or hear. If you are returning, hey soul family, what's going on? I hope that you guys are blessed and well. So let's go ahead and take a few long deep breaths inhale positive life force energy exhale and release any stress or anxiety that you are feeling at this time Most high God, divine Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, ancestors of the highest white light only, please come in and connect with me now. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know today. Let there be none of me and all of you. Most high God, please anoint and authorize every word that comes out of my mouth. Archangel Michael, please protect our energy and account the angels of protection by myself and the collective. Please and thank you. Ashley. All right, the ancestors have a message for us. There's something that they want us to know. Somebody here, what I'm picking up is somebody here is too focused on some type of community that's around you. Some type of op energy. As I said that, the fox shows up. Okay, some type of sly fox energy. Some type of Decepticon energy. Somebody is allowing these op energies to stop your progress. To get you in your head. Okay. Ancestral spirit guides, what do you want our loved one to know? What do you want our loved one to know? <laughs> Warrior. Chamber of the Violet Flame. Karmic release. <laughs> I can't make it up. First card out. Radical transformation, okay? Earth Mother, feel loved and comforted. The Warrior card says, be fearless and stand strong. Okay, there's a few more here. <laughs> we have Great Teacher, learn from spiritual experiences. We have the Druid, hold the space, and the Water Guardian, connect with your emotions. Okay, this is all about getting grounded, standing strong, okay? Connecting with your guides spiritually, connecting with the earth, okay? Spiritual baths, cleansing. This is about being grounded, okay? Grounded. This one also being grounded. Bottom of the deck, trust your instincts. Okay. Chamber of the Violet Flame. Okay. You might be benefit from a violet flame meditation with Saint Germain. Okay. Um, this says karmic release. And this is a lot of energy coming from this card. Someone here has a lot of karmic energies around them, strategizing. Before I do that, played out, okay? This is like the energy of the rat race, okay? This is the energy I'm picking up on. Somebody's just constantly wanting to do what you do, wanting to 
talk about what you're doing, trying to block you constantly. Okay, a thief. Whoa. Did y'all see that? Whoa. Okay. A thief, okay? Trying to come with some creative idea to get under your skin, okay? And I feel like it's working. I feel like it is working. Okay, so they're wanting you to release these types of energies. What am I picking up here, Holy Spirit, for this karmic release energy? Yeah, moving up, okay? Education, okay? It's like, this is the guys telling you, be smart. Uh, take the higher road. Don't involve yourself in nonsense with these people wanting to engage with you going back and forth about how you do something how you're not doing something the right way how you're not smart i'm hearing okay never argue with someone about the knowledge that you have okay you're not you're not here to prove anything to anybody okay especially somebody that's of a low vibration it's played out they're played out let them do what they do while you do what you do this is what the ancestors want you to know. Yeah, <laughs> look at this. Freedom and direction, okay? Move out, move away from these people. Free yourself of that type of energy. You're around some doozies. Whoever I'm picking up on, you're around some doozies. What's warrior, Holy Spirit? Threatening, intimidating, threatened, bothered, okay? They're threatened by you. They want to get you in this combative energy, okay? They're wanting you to stand firm and be a warrior, but pick your battles, okay? These people are not it. I'm seeing somebody, just anything that you say, whoever I'm picking up on, anything that you say, this, this, these people you are around, they just want to discredit anything that you say debate anything that you say this is not it they're threatened by you what else holy spirit they want to argue they want to fight with you yeah they want to go back and forth this give and take energy they want to go back and forth with you we also have locked What's locked? What's locked, Holy Spirit? Cock blocking again. Okay. It's like they got you locked in. Okay. Somebody has somebody engaged. Okay. And these people from your past flash back. Okay. They're wanting you to just disengage. Okay. Because... This is not, <laughs> this is not it. Yeah, looking you up, wanting to know what you're doing. Know that you have gifts. What's something significant about gifts? What's this gifts? Okay, no facts in the reverse. Okay, so somebody has some proof about your gifts. Either your spiritual gifts or some type of gifts that you are receiving. Offerings on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Locked. Cock blocking. Or they may be aware of some type of gift that's coming in for you and they may be trying to block that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So somebody here, these people are strategizing by staying connected with you, debating with you, going back and forth with you, but hanging around you, sticking around because they're plotting on something else completely different. I was wondering where we were going with this. These people want to take from you. They are aware that something is coming in for you, some major gift, okay? They have proof. No facts in the reverse. 
okay some type of offering coming in for you that they want they've been doing their homework and they found something so they're trying to block it so in the meantime they just want to go back and forth with you but stay closely connected okay look at this mountain and creeping going to great lengths okay to see they're seeing you elevate okay and they're staying close because they want whatever this is or they want to be able to block it what's earth mother holy spirit progress it says it seems like a long slog but your efforts will pay off soon stay on your course for at least a few more months before making a change feel loved and comforted okay so for whoever I'm picking up on here, there is a reason why you have to be in this environment for I, from what they said here for the next few months, okay? So while you're in this uh, place where you have to be somewhere for a while, a short time, they're wanting you to get grounded. What else for Earth Mother? Photo proof. Getting evidence. Perspective. So with photo proof in progress showing up here again, these people, I said they have some type of proof with no facts in reverse about, they have proof about your progress. I'm hearing they have proof about your support some type of support you you receiving what is this support energy holy spirit we have love on the brain dreaming fantasizing daydreaming nostalgic okay so this may be these people trying to connect in the astral realms they may have received proof by running into your ancestors Okay, they may have been trying to tap, tap into your Akashic records. They know about some type of gift that's coming in for you. Also, they could be receiving signs from Mother Gaia. This card is that it's all clarifying Earth Mother. Okay, feel loved and comforted. They may know that you are closely connected with Mother Gaia. They may have received some type of proof of that. They may have seen something. What's love on the brain? <laughs> Jackpot. So yes, they have seen some type of proof in the physical. That lets them know you have some type of people skills or you have some type of connection, some type of skill, some type of gift that is otherworldly, I'm hearing, okay? This message is not for everyone. So this whole debating, arguing, competing, all of this is just uh, a strategy to get to your gifts or to block you from getting whatever this is. What's great teacher, Holy Spirit? Jail. And brilliance in the reverse. Okay, this is the energy of somebody learning a valuable lesson from one of the greatest teachers there is, which is life and messing around with chosen ones. Okay, divine beings, okay, running out of time, timing in the reverse, okay, somebody's about to get a valuable lesson if they haven't already from, again, Mother Gaia, the divine, the universe, somebody, this is giving me the energy of purgatory, spiritual jail, okay, I feel like these people have crossed some type of line in the astral realms, 
and they were met with your ancestors. They're out of time. What's the Druid hold the space? Wish come true and answers, okay? So you are about to receive this key here. You are about to receive some of your wish. Your wishes are about to come true. The keys are about to be given to you. The answers to some question that you've had. What's the key? The answer is Holy Spirit. Okay. What's the answers? Independence. Okay. This is giving me nine of pentacles energy. And this is also giving me freedom. Okay. Something is coming in where you're going to be able to move away from these people. Okay. These people that have been talking a lot of mess, okay? Yeah, legal issues. That's a confirmation. So I feel like, again, we have jail here and brilliance in the reverse. Clarifying great teacher, okay? So they're going to learn a valuable lesson. This very well may be in the physical, physical jail. What's water guardian? We have drama in the reverse. This is giving me the energy of cleansing, removing yourself from drama, spiritual bath energy. Water guardian. Got a lot of cards that flip over. What else for water guardian? Ups and downs, okay? I feel like these people are, this is these people in their imbalances, their energy. Okay, a lot of drama, a lot of back and forth, a lot of ups and downs with these people. So you're being guided to purge and cleanse this energy. Come out of this energy. <clears throat> they wanted me to clarify a little bit more about these gifts. So ignore these people. Don't go back and forth. Don't debate with these people. Try to keep as much distance from these energies as you can. Okay. Fate is here. Whatever is meant for these people. Life. This great teacher is about to teach these people something. You are protected. You're protected. You're good. Tell me, Holy Spirit, about these gifts that these karmics are trying to take or block. What is this energy? Loneliness. Friendship in the reverse. Okay, so you're going to receive more about this once you've been disconnected, okay? Once you are away. We just got a confirmation here that wish come true, answers, then independence came out. Okay, so when you get your independence away from these people, friendship in the reverse, your guides are going to uh, release whatever these gifts are to you. Okay, what else should we be aware of? Yeah, goal and luck. Okay, so whatever this is, it's coming for you, but not while these people are still around you. Okay, the divine is, has whatever this is on reserve for you. What's luck? That's too many. What's luck, Holy Spirit? We have marriage. Okay, so this could be some type of partnership. Curse in the reverse. Sweetheart in the reverse. Okay. Okay, so your luck is being getting away from these people. These people have been trying to connect with you with this marriage to curse you. Okay. 
I heard hex. What's this curse in the reverse? Compromise and memory. Okay, these people. These are the yappa 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 crew from your past or from your present, actually, with memory here. What's compromise? Yeah, this third wheel, this group, community of people that are going to lose triumph in reverse. They just want you to relax, not to debate, not to engage. Try to keep your cool. Try to keep your distance away from these people. They're fishing right now. They want They want to know. I feel like your ancestors... <laughs> allowed them to get enough information for them to know that you are gifted or know that something is coming from you but they're completely blocked off from it ancestors what am I picking up on what did these people try to do in the in the ethers yeah <laughs> they tried to come and try to access your Akashic records and got a beat down and was quickly trying to run up out of the dream <laughs> what else Holy Spirit <laughs> yep trying to figure out where you're from and who's controlling you and all of that all up in your business in the ethers what else Holy Spirit <laughs> overload energy okay but they got some type of confirmation about your connection your union your sacred covenant okay they know and this has them pressed justice is here anything else yeah robbery I said we saw a thief earlier these people are trying to we're trying to take your gift can't make it up gift on the bottom of the deck cannot make it up yeah but they quickly withdrew because the ancestors showed up what's robbery yeah they've been plotting look at this blessing right here gift right here they've been plotting to take from you but there's something about them needing to be close to you what am I picking up what is this what am I picking up about them needing to be close to the collective? Yeah. Okay, we got pride on the side. Okay, so this is on the side. I feel like although these people really don't like you and they're really in this ego energy towards you, they have to be this... They can't be this way all the time in order to stay connected to you. So somehow they're shifting back and forth in their energy to stay close to you, to stay connected. Yeah, they want to gain, so they have to play the game is what I'm hearing. Show me the collective energy. Show me the collective <laughs> Off manifesting, hanging out with spirit guides. Anything else we should be aware of? Tower is coming. These people are about to be really angry. Yep, ancestors are inciting a tower on these people. The divine and your ancestors are inciting the tower. And that's going to bring in good news for you because these people are going to be moved off your timeline. What's the natural disaster, Holy Spirit? What's the natural disaster? Overload. lesson they're gonna live and learn okay 
And that's all I'm being guided to share about that. So, this one was kind of all over the place. So basically, the Decepticons are strategizing, trying to send spell work. It's been blocked, cursing in reverse, trying to come in through the, into the ethers to dig up information about you. They got their butts handed to them. And I feel as though they're gonna keep trying. I really do, because they're hard-headed. Let me get some tarot. Yep, what I split it on. Five of swords, but ten of wands, okay? They are going to keep trying, but the divine is saying they're going to do so and burden themselves. What should we be aware of? What should we be aware of concerning these karmic energies? Or what do we need to know? We have the Emperor, the Four of Swords, the Hierophant, this is giving me the energy of the divine saying, relax my child, your spirit guides in the, <laughs> the big boss, the hierophant, your spirit guides, angels and ancestors surrounding you. You're in the middle in this four of swords energy, getting your rest, healing, meditating, connecting in nature. They're all around you, you're protected, okay, from this devil energy that will be in deep regret and experience a haunting loss. Doesn't matter if they try it, okay? The divine is saying, fear not, okay? They're always gonna be trying. They're gonna be stuck. So, there's that. Now let's let's clear this energy. I don't like this energy. And we're gonna get some angel messages. Okay, and there's another ancestor message that they want you to have as well. We love you, divine ancestors and spirit guides. We thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for guiding and protecting us from the Decepticon chicanery. Something to do about reading. The ancestors want some want to read something. There's a message in some type of book. That's what I'm hearing. Am I being guided? Yes, I am being guided. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's see. Okay. Okay, there's a passage here, and this is the heart of the Buddhist teachings. And there's a passage here that I was guided to. It says, people talk endlessly about their suffering and their joy, but what is there to suffer or to be joyful about? Joy from sensual pleasure always leads to pain, and suffering while practicing the way always brings joy. 
Whenever there is joy, there is suffering. If you want to have no suffering, you must accept no joy. Hmm. Okay. It says, in the discourse on turning the wheel of Dharma, the Buddha taught the four noble truths of suffering, the cause of suffering, the cessation of suffering, and the path. But in the Heart Sutra tells us that there is no suffering, no cause of suffering, or no causation of suffering, and no path. Is this a contradiction? Okay. What I am getting from this is that the divine, your spirit guides, your ancestors are wanting us to be at ease despite the circumstance. They want us to be at ease in the moments where things are not great at ease in the moments where things are great. This doesn't mean you have to be jumping up and down when you're going through a difficult time, but maintain this sense of peace no matter what you're going through. And I know that's easier said than done. That takes a lot of discipline and practice, prayer and meditation, okay? So I feel like it's related to this message in that whoever I was picking up on that's really pressed by the people around you, I feel like this is what they're wanting you to get to this place of it doesn't matter where I am or who's throwing what at me, I'm going to maintain peace. I'm going to maintain the energy of peace. I'm going to be okay no matter what's going on around me. I'm going to condition myself to be in a relaxed state of mind. I'm going to do what I can to ensure that my uh, mindset, that my energy is clear, that I am at peace, okay? Because whoever you are, the, the warrior card came out, okay? So... I know that there's a, they're showing me wands energy, okay? So there's like a very passionate, fiery energy in whoever you are. And I feel like you are being tested right now to maintain your composure, to not get into the pop-off energy and go back and forth with whoever this is, okay? Just to calm yourself and control your emotions control your temper I'm hearing okay don't let these people get you bent out of shape I feel like it said independence wish come true answers with a key on it okay so this there's something major coming up for you you're about to be gifted with something and then when i clarify it said loneliness and friendship in the reverse so they want you to be able to effectively disconnect and i'm feeling like this is figuratively primarily if you can be around these people and disconnect figuratively, I feel that you will still have access to whatever this gift is that's coming. Because it, oftentimes we're not going to be able to leave the physical location from people that are trying to cause us turmoil. Sometimes that's just not a possibility. So that's why they wanted this to come out because they're wanting us to be at a place of peace even if we have to still be in the same house with people that are not uh, are not the best company, okay? Um, know that you are protected, but understand that you are being tested, whoever you are, so don't, don't let those, uh, don't pull out those wands and start taking folks out, okay? <laughs> Just, Get yourself a quiet space to meditate, clear your mind, and breathe, and just collect your thoughts, okay? 
I really hope that the message helped you, family. I love you. Um, please uh, hit the like button if you like the content. Share, subscribe, join the family. Until next time, peace and blessings. If you are in need of a meditation, check the Lightworks goodie bag. It's free just because I love you. If you feel inclined to donate or if you need a personal reading, my information is in the description box. Peace and blessings. Ashe.